If you are new to photography, you need a way to edit your photos, but you're probably not ready to invest thousands in a computer tailor-made for editing. But what if I told you that there is a cheaper alternative to a Mac or a PC? I'm talking about the Chromebook. Chromebooks are typically a cheap web-based computer light on processing power, storage. And today I'm gonna see if I can edit photos, specifically edit a wedding on a Chromebook, an $89 Chromebook. Hey, I am Raymond Hatfield, wedding photographer and host of the Beginner Photography Podcast. As a wedding photographer, I can have several thousands of photos to cull through and several hundred photos to edit before they are delivered. I, like many other wedding photographers, typically invest in a pretty powerful computer here to speed up the editing process. Now that comes at a price that understandably many new photographers are not ready to invest in. With Lightroom CC, Adobe's flagship photo editor is now cloud-based. And that means that many photographers today are able to ditch the powerful, expensive desktop setup required to edit. But what would happen if I tried to edit a wedding on an $89 Chromebook? You might be surprised, maybe not, but I'll get into it in just a minute. But first, why? Why do I wanna do this? Well, in the Beginner Photography Podcast Facebook community, there are posts from members asking for computer recommendations all the time, citing that photography is just a hobby and that they're not ready to invest, you know, $1,000 on a new computer, but they do need to get started. And personally, as you could imagine as a wedding photographer, I have an array of hard drives always plugged into my desktop, but sometimes I do travel for weddings and trips that I want to take photos and need a way to offload, edit, and then upload those images. Well, earlier this year, I picked up an Acer Spin 713 Chromebook right here, uh, and it was so natural. It just felt natural. You know, it made me wonder why more photographers don't consider Chromebooks. I picked up this Acer Spin 713 for $475, and it is more than I need, which led me to wonder, could I have saved money and got away with a cheaper Chromebook? And that is when I saw Best Buy selling a Lenovo 3 Chromebook for just $89. And I wondered, could I you know, save almost $400 and still get the job done? First thing I noticed was how quick Lightroom populated all of the photos and albums that I had within Lightroom CC. And that's just, you know, with it being cloud-based, that's a huge benefit. But after that, things started to go downhill quick. For this video, I'm gonna be paying specific attention to several things. Ease of overall use, speed, screen quality, and if there's any hiccups that I run into because technically Lightroom CC is an Android application. So the first thing that I need to do is get the photos from the SD card into Lightroom. Now, since Chromebooks are cloud-based, most Chromebooks have very little internal storage. And this $89 Chromebook has just 32 gigabytes of storage, which is just a quarter of the storage that my camera's SD card has. So the first step is to transfer all of the image from my SD card over to my external hard drive. Right away, I realized that this process was going to be slow. It took 30 minutes to transfer 29 gigabytes of photos from my SD card over to the external hard drive. Now in comparison, the Acer Spin 713 did that in just under three minutes. That 30 minutes is disappointing. Next was importing the photos from the external hard drive into Lightroom. When I selected all the photos to import and pressed import, this $89 Lenovo didn't, it didn't become unresponsive, but there was no indication that the photos were being imported. So I just kind of walked away for a bit. But when I came back about 20 minutes later, the photos did start to populate. Now this could be a computer issue. It could also be because this is an Android app. It's not really meant to import large amounts of photos and doing so, well, it, it would have been nice to have a progress bar. That really would have helped. Once all the photos were imported, it was then time to call through them. Okay, flipping through a large amount of photos, I knew right away that this $89 Chromebook was in way over its head. This version of Lightroom CC is an Android application, meaning that it's designed for a touch interface. And the Lenovo 3 is not a touchscreen. The Acer Spin 713 is, and I think the majority of Chromebooks are, so I just, it just wasn't something that I thought of before picking up the Lenovo 3. The arrow keys don't advance the photo, which you would think that it would. So there was a bit of a learning curve to figure out how to go from image to image. What I found is that you have to swipe with two fingers on the trackpad. And this trackpad is 
plastic. It's not the glass standard that most are used to today, and therefore there was a fair amount of glitchiness. Sometimes I would advance three photos, sometimes it would take me three tries to just get to the next photo. I really wanted to give up here, but I thought, okay, I know that this, you know, $89 Chromebook is not going to be efficient, it's not going to work, it's not going to be any good at editing a wedding, but I am going to keep going because, uh, you know, many of you aren't shooting weddings. You don't have to, you know, edit through an entire wedding. Sometimes you're just going out for day trips and bringing back 30, 40, 50 photos, and maybe a much smaller amount might be easier to justify this kind of a machine. So next up was the actual editing. On my Acer Spin 713, when I click a photo, it takes a second, as in one second, to render a preview, and then I can start to edit. This is faster than it takes for me to move my mouse to the editing panel. So effectively, it's faster than me. That's that's perfect. That's all that I could ever want. On the $89 Lenovo 3, I expected maybe three, four seconds for Lightroom to render a preview before I could edit. And oh, how I wish that it was only four seconds. The Lenovo 3 took 30 seconds to render a photo's preview before I could start to edit. 30 seconds. 30. For a thousand photos, that equates to more than eight hours of just time waiting for a photo to load before you can actually edit that photo. For the majority of my images, it only takes me 15, maybe 20 seconds to edit. Far less than the amount of time just waiting for the photo to load on this $89. Lenovo 3. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I edited four photos before I threw in the towel. In part, because the load time was just absolutely atrocious, but also the screen quality on the Lenovo 3 was, it was so bad. I couldn't edit with any degree of certainty of what I was doing was right or even in the ballpark. Now an external monitor would solve that problem, but then it's not a portable setup. Now you may say to yourself, Raymond, what in the world were you expecting from an $89 Chromebook? And, um, and, and you're right, you know? It's unfair to judge this against my Acer Spin 713, which for $475, you know, as much as I really don't wanna admit this and don't let my wife hear this, in, in many cases it's faster than editing on my 27 inch iMac here. Now, I was, I was so shocked that the $89 Chromebook really took 30 seconds to render an image preview that I looked up Adobe's system requirements for Lightroom CC on Android. It calls for a four core processor minimum, and the Lenovo 3 has just a dual core processor, which has to be the reason for this lack of speed. In hindsight, I probably should have looked this up before buying the computer, but this wasn't really a fair test. If you go to Chrome's website, they have three different performance tiers for Chromebooks. They have Chromebooks, plus Chromebooks, and premium Chromebooks. And as you can tell, the Lenovo 3 is not a plus or a premium Chromebook. So what have we learned today? You know, a computer is simply a tool to complete a job. And in our case, that job is to edit a photo. When the computer gets in the way, when it makes us wait, when it creates a frustrating environment, then photography is no longer fun and that tool no longer works. And that is why I will happily spend more on a more powerful computer to have a better experience and know that I'm not going to be held back by my hardware. So can editing on a Chromebook be done? Yes, with the Acer Spin 713, you know, I found that not only do you not need to spend $1,000 on a Windows or Mac laptop, you know, if you just wanna edit on the go, but it can be a delight. But this $89 Chromebook, um, it did not live up to the grade. If you are looking for a supplementary device, you know, one that you can pair with a desktop, you know, but something that you can take on the go and you don't need a ton of bells and whistles, I did find that Lenovo has a Flex 3 Chromebook, which has an eight core processor, which will speed things up considerably. And as of right now, it can actually be had for about 200 bucks. And that looks like a fine choice if you are shooting casually. But if you are thinking about using a Chromebook in a higher capacity, you want a better screen, a touch screen, faster processor, an SD card slot, and more storage like the Acer Spin 713, look into a premium line of Chromebooks. They all have modern laptop grade processors that run Lightroom CC like butter in the four to $600 range. And just for comparison, a similarly spec Windows or Mac laptop would cost about 
about $1,300. If you have any questions about which Chromebook would be right for your needs, feel free to leave a comment below and ask. I would be more than happy to help. Because look, the point is, Chrome is not simply a cheap stepping stone until you can afford a PC or a Mac. For the majority of users, I think that Chromebook should be looked at as, as an equal, a, a serious contender among those other two. The software is there for this to work great, beautifully. The $89 Chromebook was just simply underpowered, but what do you expect for 89 bucks?